Alrighty guys, how's it going? My name is Mr. Boss for the win and welcome to another episode of Fan Mail Friday. Just a reminder, if you want to have your letters or issues read on the next Fan Mail Friday, feel free to send me a personal message on YouTube. I'll be sure to check it out. First question comes in. Alright, so are you going to be getting Far Cry 3 and are you going to be doing any videos for it? So, yes, I'm going to get Far Cry 3 and think I'm, gonna, I'm about to go get it in a few hours. It's something that I want to play over the uh, holiday break. And from what I've heard from all those pre-rolls that I'm sure you've heard a thousand times, it's supposed to be like Skyrim with guns. And if it's anything like Skyrim, it's going to be a great game. I didn't play Far Cry 1 or 2, so I'm fairly new to the series. I have a general gist of the background. And if I am going to be doing any videos, it'll probably be on Boss for the Win Plays. That's what those kind of videos are designed for. But anyways, that is the first question. Let's get on with the next one. All right, so the next question comes in and says, Hey, Mr. Boss, I'm making a YouTube channel, and getting a fan base nowadays is obviously a lot harder. But you seem to have do pretty good. What do you think was what made your channel grow, such as certain videos, advertisements, etc.? P.S. Just wanted to say you're a great YouTuber and one of my favorite commentators. Well, thank you. So, yes, making a YouTube channel based around gameplay commentaries is a lot harder today. I was kind of on the cusp of getting an early... I wasn't, like, an earlier stage. Like, I guess you could say I was a Modern Warfare 2 baby, if you could call me that. That's kind of when my channel was born, which was, like, almost at the... I want to say close to the very latest you could get in and, like, still do kind of videos like that without having it be extremely difficult. But the best thing I can offer you is, okay, video-wise, you're going to want to have a, a set upload schedule. Now, that doesn't mean you have to upload a video every day, but be consistent. If you want to do three videos a week, do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Thursday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Be consistent. Give your fans a time when you want to upload. Don't have them guessing like Sunday night at 1 a.m. Be consistent. Next thing I can do is, depending on the size of your channel, network. So dual commentary, shout outs. But don't go asking guys like Woody, White Boy, Wings. You know, those messages will get thrown out the way. Do people with a similar size channel as you. And uh, who knows, you might become best friends. That's how I became best friends with a lot of my friends right now. You know, just we've been talking online or, you know, we did commentaries or we did work together. So a lot of great things can happen when you network. And uh, those are my suggestions I can give for you. All right, this last question is somewhat of a message that I can relate to. So let's go ahead and start. Hi, Mr. Boss. I feel it's hard to find a best friend. I have lots of friends, yes, but that's what they stay as, just friends. I don't know if I have a misconception of what a best friend is supposed to be, and maybe that is what's keeping me from having a best friend, or maybe it's just the way I am. I consider myself to be a different uh, different compared to the common high school stereotype. I'm an athletic nerd, paradox question mark. I thought that was pretty funny. That is a little too mature to be compared for other juniors, yet I'd still show up to any party and invite invite me to it. For example, I'd have an entire conversation about something like physics where I'd still be interested in going to the popular kids party on the weekend. I could spend hours playing Call of Duty while still shedding a tear watching Glee. Um, yeah, I can't seem to find an in-between uh, in between best friends that share the same interests as me. It's either a black or white, but no gray. Any advice would be great. Okay, anyways, oh, and he said, uh, how do you want us to call us, or call me, Mr. Boss the Wind, James Ross? My first name's James, my middle name's Ross, I go by Ross because I didn't like the name James as I was growing up. You can call me Boss, you can call me Ross, whatever you want. Same deal, all sounds good to me. Anyways, so, this guy has an issue of finding friends that have all the same qualities he has, and I'm kind of in that same situation. Obviously, I, I play a lot of video games, I love video games, but... All throughout middle school, all throughout high school, and even now in my university days, you know, I'm playing sports, pick up basketball. I played on the varsity tennis team, won a, a state championship playing varsity tennis. It was a proudest moment of my life probably so far today, other than what I do on YouTube. It's, it's It was a very special moment. And I don't have, I can't really say, I have like maybe two best friends that I can say I can do a little bit of each with, which is nice. But I have, you know, my separate friends. So I... And I don't want to like break them down in different categories because I'm sure they would be my friend no matter what. But I have friends that you know I like to play sports with. I have friends that I like to talk about sports with, play fantasy football, play tennis, talk about what's going on in the sporting world. Uh, you know, I have friends that I particularly just talk about schoolwork or like the business world or what's going on with. And then I have particular friends that I like just talk video games with or, you know, electronics or, uh, you know, anything along those lines. So I have friends that... 
I talk about different things too. So, and it's not like I, I go out of my way to say, hey, I want to talk about video games today. Uh, you know, let me talk to this friend. It's like, no, just when the opportunity arises, I talk about those certain topics. And that's how I balance myself. I don't try to force my friends to like all the same thing or make it awkward around them. It's just, I talk about different things when I'm with different friends. And that's not showing a two faced side of me. That's just being interested in a lot of topics and trying to like, I. I I wouldn't try to say force myself to talk about a topic with a certain person, but it's just like, hey, that's what we talk about. It's like that friend doesn't lot know a whole lot about sports, but man, he's a great video games expert. Man, let's talk about video games. We share that same interest. So that's kind of the attitude I'm going at it, and uh, I hope I have answered your question. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you would drop a like, I would, uh, you know, I would really like that. It helps the channel. Subscribe if you are new. I always love new subscribers. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.